way. So this will be an interesting match because um that's Crisis and Jay and both of them are favorite strong duo. I think I think they party up. I'm not too sure. I just know that Crisis is a really great D player and Jay is a very good support player. So that duo lane may not be having the most fun time in the world. So yeah, I think we want Typhoon. Why right? for this Mary on head build, we want Typhoon so we can create distance and be a little bit more elusive, right? So let's go with this for now. And so for this tech, we're gonna go Sky. So pretty much what we're trying to do with Mary off lane is we're doing the on head hybrid kind of build, some physical power, try to focus more magical whenever we can. But we want to go for items that I know it's gonna be really good. Stonebreaker, I think it's honestly a great item because then this is the item that we don't have to worry about wave clear as much. We don't we can like just use this purely for wave clear to have the spam abilities on the wave. So I think we just go Stonebreaker first, Prophecy second, I imagine. Sky Splitter third, go from there. Something like that is what I imagine. Maybe we go Sky Splitter second and Prophecy third. But I think Sky Splitter is a better power spike than um, Prophecy. Ready to fly. Minions are spawning. So. I just said it, um, dude, but um, I'm cooking just a mirror offlane build, just a hybrid on head kind of build, Stonebreaker, Sky Splitter, Prophecy, that kind of good stuff. So we're not going to do full magical, we're going to build bring some physical because being physical is going to make us do more damage on hit at the end of the day, right? We definitely bully him a lot. That's going to be really great because either he has to do that early back or he's going to like just not be able to walk up. Nice. Yeah, actually taking is taking the early back. That's actually really good because he's going to be missing a lot of XP. Which is huge. For some reason the Grux is in this lane. Well, this is actually not a good idea because he's falling behind. He's already falling behind. Like him just staying here is like really bad. It's actually really bad. He's gonna not be able to gank and really fall behind in love against my jungler. That's really he's just wasting time. He should just go farm. Not gonna be able to do much. And look at that, my jungler saw that, so we actually turned that around really, really good. But yeah, that jungler is really behind now. Like, he was trying to do the sheets because... Like, that was actually kind of smart. Like, I was wondering why he was just standing there, right? But it's because Witcher was actually coming behind me. So, I... So, I mean, even if they got it off, I just blinked away and they didn't get anything off that. But because of the win page was right there, they just lost all their lives for that. That's yeah, some really nice stuff right there. It's 15, 16. So I don't think the Grux even does west side clear yet. Because he was just sitting on this side. I think he's doing the tier buff, but I'm trying to shove this in mostly because if I shove it in, he's just gonna miss it. So right now I'm trying to summon him off on the wave. Cause yeah, he just missed all those minions. Oh that didn't hit right there. Good to know. And my wave Still crash all the way, so that means that wave's gonna bounce back towards me. 
I'm half mana. I'm kind of tempted to go for this um, river buff fight here, actually. I might go take this really quick and go back to white. Because I'm not going to miss that many minions by doing this play. There we go. I think range off lanes can work. It just really depends on the pick and of course um the team comp. You can't do range off lane if you have a countless jungle deck of support. You have no front lane, right? But if you have a um way to support rampage kinda of like jungle, then you can do something like range off lane, no problem at all. That is the crisis that I mean by he's really good twin blast, so he's gonna actually get um, pretty ahead right now in that triple kill. He's gonna just sidestep. But we're definitely bullying him really, really hard right there was the big thing. Oh, there was a sudden Grux right here, once again. And this time we don't have Blink, so we actually can't get out, unfortunately. So, like, the thing with a range off lane is, like, definitely pick picks that are very safe. So, Stream Blast off lane can work because he has all that mobility. Deck of range off lane can work, how we miss off lane can work. But maybe it's hit or miss because she has no mobility. Is the big thing. So as soon as I just get jump on like that, I just die, right? So my main goal is I want to just try and focus on farming because the way being pushed in hard like that means that I'm very vulnerable to gain. So whenever you play range off lane, it's all about wave manipulation. If I can get the wave to stay right here, then I can farm safely. If it's a push up to the winter tower, then I can't farm. Is the thing. He is trying to do the whole um heal buff again. But I think we can maybe steal it from him. We take that, no problem. Gideon's looking... Oh, that's annoying. I really want to get that kill, but I can't. If the um, Gideon say on me like that... Hmm. We can switch treats. This game is getting a very nice push mid. And that's a blink, that's huge. I don't want to walk under there, so I just have to let that push reset and then we can look to keep pushing that out. Hey, I won't be able to keep farming anymore. I really want to like get my song break on this back, but I'm not gonna be able to yet. So oh I didn't mean to stop right back right there. Because once I get song breaker, that's when I think things get much Actually, I'm greedy. I'm gonna stay. Because we see Gideon still over there. I think we just focus on the wave. He's Mrs. Hook.
There we go. I have enough for some big, but that's all I want before I do this back. Yeah, like if you do League of Legends, Vayne top lane is like a very popular range because he ha she's really great into tanks because she would damage, she had some ability, she has to get off me tool and just have tools to outplay. Like that can work because you have the kit that works actually really good for top lane. And I think we have Twin Blast in the sense actually works pretty great um, because he has that kit that works great for off lane, just the pure mobility, damaging abilities, having great range, that kind of stuff. Which is actually backing off, unless he's trying to do the tier buff again. He's not. Hmm. I'm gonna be getting anything off that. I do need to just back in melee because I need to um, go and defend white. That's why I was kind of hesitant to um, go use my ultimate because if I do that, I'm actually losing farm by doing that. Because like, I know this... Um, yeah, see how this all, the all two of them trying to give up my tower. That's smart by them. That's what, And that's also why I didn't want to go because they're going to do that and the fact that this guy is like 4 0. We can't really kill him that easily, is the big, big thing. Yeah, we just kill him pretty easily right there. And that's just one item. Imagine we got Sky Splitter though. How much more damage would we be actually doing right there? Because he's the HP lover and the Sky Splitter the HP counter to that. I think the Grux maybe... Yep, yeah, he's on there. He's not gonna let me push. Because he's just gonna try to gank me. Alright, he's actually just gonna be clearing the wave. Your power grows. Surely I can make it back on time before they actually crash this wave. So I'm just gonna just back really quickly. So I mean, the only one that's really fed is the enemy Trembler, it's not necessarily like that of war, so we just look to shut him down in team fights, and then I think we win after that. I think there are many... Okay, never mind, I think we're just doing some war or something. Fire Blossom, got it. Ready to fly. There we go, that's the solo kill we want to see, ladies and gents. And they're all on the left side, so I can actually split push a little bit longer. I think they're fine, I don't need an ult. I just keep doing what I do best and split push. I probably won't be able to crash this in on time. So I'm just gonna farm this wave and just look it back. Maybe I can go for two above since it's technically gonna crash all the way. Maybe I can take it by itself. We'll see in a sec. Yeah, which is back already. Tower is under attack. Enemy power 
Oh, we got it right there. That's huge. Now I have to do this super quick back before we try to show up into my tower. And I think I make it back in time. Which is pretty good speed at pushing, I would say. iPhone is actually really good. Come on. Okay, I'll get it later. It could be our mini prime. There's no reason for which to just leave lane like that, right? Maybe we're just doing a deep world or something. That's a little weird. I just gonna run away. I, I see people miss. I'm not gonna over chase that. Yeah, he's looks like they're gonna dive the Gideon. So I'll keep an eye out and look to maybe use my ultimate. Huge. That's a huge play. Wow. I wasn't sure like if I made a huge difference being there, but I definitely did the work in trying to finish off people and making sure we minimize our losses. Nice. We are doing some serious work on this Mario um, off lane right now. First guys, we're next. I'm trying to think. Do we want to build magical defense against the Victor? I don't think we need. I think we just full commit to the on hit build. So yeah, let's do prophecy next. I think it's a cold build. Um, Sky's better, so i um, prophecy third. Then we'll just build whatever. We can do other fast. Just to be really, really annoying. We're against the Victor Grux. So actually being able to root them, it's actually going to be able to be pretty consistent, I would say. So we can go other fast tech. Oh, they're all collapsing on my Victor support. Yeah, that's why I want to go to Stormbreaker Skyspear because I know this build will make my autos actually hurt a lot. I'm actually warming around a little bit because I don't know why we need an FF. I don't think we need to. Oh my god, my autos are actually slapping that way to uh, Gideon. It really is slapping right now, guys. So I want to try to see if we can get this T1 knocked down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't really walk in like that. Wow. So that's another person's life lost to the melee offlane tech. I know Witch is coming over. Wait for him to actually commit. Actually, I'll go now. Huge. That's huge, guy. They're the strongest one on the team, so killing them is, like, massive. Let's go. That's my bad if there's an audio bug, like... This is what I mean, like, I find to my obvious saying to the best of my ability. Oh, wait, wait for the wait to the, um, wait my face to jump in, then we can finish. There we go. Get the hook! Yes! Yes! 
Love to see it, guys. But yeah, no, like, ever since a certain player does an update, I noticed my OBS will sometimes bug out, like, I really don't think it's my OBS setup because I have a Ryzen 9, like, I got one of the best CPUs in the market right now, and I still get this issue, um, from time to time, so I'm not sure, too sure what else I can fix. Oh, spicy! Spice, that is spice. Let's push me. Which we? I don't want to fight this. Which we? Run away! Run away! The reversal is charged. Actually, let's see if the gold buff is up. I love my gold buff, if I do say so myself. Nice, right, skip prophecy. That means that now we're gonna really kind of hurt more. We're pretty hurting a lot, but now we got that kind of conversion, which is really, really nice. So yeah, let's actually do this whole other fast tech now. Cause like, honestly, like, we're just we can outspace them pretty easily unless we stay out of CC range, so we can go other fast against them and it works out really great. So my audio issues are happening because on NoBS I slipped my audio, so in my recording, um, it won't have the music because that's I can't do that for YouTube. So it's my way of make, I can get music going in the live stream, but not show up my recordings if it's a YouTube I want to upload. Cause I try to do streams without music. It's kind of like um, not as good vibes, or rather, I like the vibe. I like the music because it keeps that vibe going. Oh, it's just the mood, I guess I'm trying to say. So that's why, like, I try to do the music. But like, because I do that, sometimes my obvious get picked up. It was w working fine before. It's like a newer issue. Well, um, after like one presenter update during season one, I just noticed all my audio issues start to happen. I don't want to push it because um, I don't know where the jungle is at, so I'm trying to play on the sacred side. But since my one page is hovering me, I can probably like um, walk up. There we go, guys. Just soloing the Victor once again. I can keep split pushing because the cool thing about Mario is, as long as I've ultimate up, I can be anywhere on the map. So I can keep split pushing. If they try to collapse on old farm, then I just use my ultimate to follow up. You know what? I do need to back though. I'll back and defend that because I have my ultimate. Um, the game's actually backing for that. I may actually go over there. Mm, I'm trying to see if they actually can get it because getting has very good wave clue. I want to keep the pressure on this side if I can. Taking awfully long on that. Okay. I was like, oh my god, that low. Maybe I could go in.
huge. Because I'm like, I can escape, but also go help my web page buddy over here. So it definitely works out very, very well. Nice. And now we got the Elephant's tag. So now that Victor that's trying to run away, now he's just gonna need to get with it and place. Uh, let's go. So, last item. Uh, maybe magnify. More attack speed is always great stuff, right? Yeah, this is what I mean, like, this build, I just know works amazingly well, so now that we have four items, it's just, we just do a lot of damage, our wave clear is insane, we can actually just 1v1 to anyone, no problem whatsoever. I actually can't push that, cause, um, we need a team here first. So let's play a little patient, wait for the Twin Blast to push left. Actually, I might wait left. Cause what we should do is, um, my whole team push mid, and I use my ultimate to go there whenever I can, because I have that split push power. I mean, it's not too bad, me and Triple pushing, since we can take the towers really fly. fast. Hmm. Okay, we're not committing just yet, so we're kind of chilling. Oh, that's some um, spicy engage. Huge. Now we kind of wait out, kind of get our mana back. Oh, not mana health is a big thing. There we go. Huge. Now we attack mid. Yeah, just walk over to over the mid now. Um, they have a pretty scary wave clear, so... Oh, Ooh, that was almost scary. Nice. That's another hip to it down. Nice. Thank you so much, Derek. I'm glad you like the new shirt, my friend. Oh. Oh, and ham. Spicy. We don't have the pine buff anymore, I think it's just aspire. Oh. Too far away. Get out, which means I think we just still get out. Uh oh. I'm just get that though. Because the waves are still pushing in pretty hard. Oh. That was actually a good reaction by the Gideon. So let's actually take this blue buff for ourselves. Maybe we can farm enough to get magnified so we get the full um melee offlane build going. So, 200 more gold, go buff. Yes, this should give me enough, I believe. Yeah, close enough. I can just stay on base and get my, um, get my magnified that way.
So yeah, this is a com complete full build. We love to see it, guys. I think it's the kind of build you can, can, can slap on for the most part. Maybe if you get a lot of assassins, you can't get other Frost, but because of the enemy team cup we're facing, we can actually get away with doing other Frost really, really effectively well. Yeah, it's gonna be a YouTube video, um, Dave. I This is kind of a little spicy for a YouTube video. You, got, you definitely love to see that. There we go. Actually, let's swap over here. Spicy hook. Let's go. We had so many good ultimates this game. It's actually kind of unreal. Because we're killing person and then just go warp over and just kill other people across the map. That just makes maybe really, really fun. Yeah, attack speed is so, so high right now. Oh my god. It might be GG right here. There's only the Gideon. We can kill the, the Victor really quick. Oh, he's actually too high in the air for me to reach him. Oh. I'll just actually clean. Actually, Sheldon, just... What I can do is if I can get this quick reset and my p and my team is still fighting, I can just um, go back in. Back from the um, spawn, just like that instantly. 50 second cooldown is pretty nasty. That's kind of thanks to the ability haste we got going, so our, we can, our cooldowns are actually really, really low. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can just do faint um, or prime. We can lemon test in terms of like, I can see how much damage we're doing to this by ourselves. Yeah, doing a fair amount of damage. Actually, nah. We, we wait for the. Um... Did we just wait for the Rampage to go and make sure we can secure that, um, or not? Ooh. Got caught out right there, unfortunately. I don't think we can do it, then. Ready to fly. I don't know if we can still do it, it's the issue. Cause I don't want to flip it when we're men down. I mean it's 4v4 but still. I don't want to flip it old prime when we don't have to. Just to try to look for picks more than anything. Yeah like right there for example was Baby Grief by the um, ADC. No reason for him to die right there. So now we can just do Prime 1. I think we need to because Gideon and Grux actually have very insane wave clear. So we need the old Prime buff so we can actually shove this in and in. I want to see if I can catch the squirks. Oh, he's running that way. Not anymore. You know what? Maybe I can still do, because... Maybe I can still actually catch... My my RMB is on a low cooldown. What the heck? It's actually quite insane how low this is. He is running around left. I want to just... I just want to bully him. 
With my LFR, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do, guys. Oh, is he actually backing? Oh yeah, maybe he actually got the back off. So I set up my ultimate, so if they commit to a fight, I can just be there instantly. But it's a dead inhibitor actually, so yeah, we just focus down immediately. Oh, I died. No way. The Mirror Q got me. I took a lot of poke damage by like, I did the Trim Blast which just focusing me down really hard. So I'm unfortunately not on the party end screen at the coin, but I mean, 16 and 2, 306 creep score. Yeah. We've been farming kills and gold by the looks of it. Wow. GG's. Because it was looking kind of hard for a set because the dual lane was actually popping off hard. But that's the thing, like the mid lane and off lane jungle were not really popping off at all. So as long as we just shut down the dual lane, then we can just actually just um, win all these team fights, no problem at all. So yeah, definitely GG's right there. And by the way, I was um, dual with Indo because he had really spicy Witcher um, support I had and he was just a really cool guy so I decided just to do it with him a little bit that would be fun plus um, the matchmaking they did try to see um, how th this pying up in two stack will actually if affect our MMR ranges now going to his new patch but 43 doubt we did most damage this game on our team Shrimp Blast did more damage than us but I mean that's just Shrimp Blast in a nutshell so yeah well they great stuff I'm kind of it's like a shield um Stat like tells you how much you shielded damage. So damage dealt, damage taken, damage. Oh, no shield damage, unfortunately. So I don't know how much I'm actually shielding right there, but very great stuff still at the end of the day.